For this next step, the dimension check, basically you're going to take your tape measure, hook it right here on what I'm calling the bow of my bolt. Doesn't really matter which end you're coming from. And being an American using feet, I'm going to mark every foot. Um, I don't know what you use in the rest of the world, but every foot works for me, which is every 12 inches. And just mark like that down the length of the boat. And then to make sure that you didn't come up with a lopsided boat, even though you used your batten, you used your bricks, you've got your curve mark basically at each foot, or in boat building terms, these are called stations, at each station you measure out. Now this one is six, six and a half, so I call that 6.5. This one, look at that, lines up at 6.5. That's a good sign. Now if I had seven and six, obviously I was going to have a lopsided boat. If lopsided boats don't look nice. They might not go straight. Okay, that's nine. Nine. Uh, yeah, it's, that's pretty close. I mean, quarter inch, three eighths of an inch, even up to half an inch in a foam boat is not the end of the world. This isn't like boat building with wood where it really can be a problem. Okay, ten and... Seven eighths looks like. Um, yep. And just do that at each station, down the length of the boat, and make sure that you're within, like I said, up to a half an inch, at least a quarter inch at each station, and then you'll know that you're going to end up with a symmetrical boat. Because even staring at it with your eye, because the hull bottom is drawn off to one side of the bottom. It may look good or it may look like it's off or it could be a dark spot that throws off your eye. The tape measure never lies.